and welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll be looking at extruding text and logos inside of After Effects without the use of any third party plugins whatsoever. So you've just seen the short that I created not long ago. And let's take a look at it again, just analyze. We've got the 3D text here. We've got a nice 3D logo. You can see we've got bevels and materials. And we're going to have a go at doing that all by ourselves inside of After Effects without the use of Element, without the use of Cinema 4D, just After Effects. So if I just hop on into the logo scene right here, you can sort of see when it loads up um, how we've got uh, the bevels between the white layers and the red layers. The red layers have some streaks on. And if I head into the Arcus Presents composition here, which features the text, you can see the same sort of story going on here where we've got different layers of bevels and materials. So let's start, shall we? I'm gonna start a new project. And inside of here, I'm going to create a new composition and call it our text comp. So this is where we put our 2D layer, which we're going to extrude. In this case, I'm going to put in some text. I'm going to call it Arcus, simple like that. So I'm going to take my pine tool and we just need to make sure that our layer is centered regardless of what our layer is. So when we've done that, we're going to create another new composition. I'm going to call it our material one speaks for itself this is going to be one of the materials that we use for our text so we can put whatever we want in here but i'm going to create a uh, let's say a solid about that color sort of reddish color and i'm going to throw on some fractal noise and quickly fashion up some sort of weird disgusting dirty rancid material that i can think of Ugh, look at this bro turn the brightness up and we get these streaks oh and we're throwing some transform and offset it a little bit this is gonna look disgusting ah blah blah anyway that's my material for the first uh that's no try again that's my first material so now we've got our text and we've got our material we now need to apply the material to our text so we're going to drag our text comp into a new composition and command k just going to do the composition settings and call this ooh, uh, bevel one and in brackets I'm going to put red because it's going to be our red bevel so we need to take our material one and throw that underneath our text comp we need to set the alpha mat of the material to our text so if you don't have the alpha mat button we need to go down here toggle switches and modes and we've got track mat right there and we select alpha mat boom so now our text is using our material excellent and there we go that's bevel one sorted now this is just one layer we could use this already to uh, make our own 3d text which is exactly what I'm going to do now I'm going to take our bevel one drag it into a new composition command K again and I'm going to call this 3d text so how it's done is by simply layering loads of different layers um, which have a certain distance between them on Z space. So first we need to make them a 3D layer and then I'm going to open up the position and duplicate this entire layer nine times so we get 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. We have 10 layers. And I'm gonna open up the position on all of them and offset each by two pixels. So we go zero, two, four, six, uh, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and the top one should be 18. So if I just throw on a camera, so new uh, camera, and hit OK, and when I grab my camera tool, you'll be able to see that as we pan around, the text is in fact three-dimensional now. Uh, however, it's looking a little bit icky. You, there's no sort of definition between the sides at all at the moment. So let's go back into our bevel layer. And I'm going to throw on a, an adjustment layer. With that, I just did Command-Alt-Y. Or for the sake of the tutor tutorial, right-click, New, Adjustment Layer. I'm just going to call this Bevel. So let's go into our effects and presets. Search up Bevel Alpha. Double-click that or drag that on, whichever you choose. And let's just set this to full so we can see it's a bit better. You can already see we've got this nice shininess about it. 
Now the edge thickness, as long as it's not zero, will uh, give us the nice 3D look that we want for our 3D text. So just change the colouring to whatever you want. I'm going to make it a little bit redder. And go back into our 3D text and if we grab our tool again and start panning around, you can see that we've actually now got some definition in our 3D text. So if I just go back in and I up the intensity, pull it to white, and I increase the bevel size, you can really see how it affects our text here. So I think that's looking rather nice. So that was easy enough, 3D text done. So if we take our 3D text and we put it into a new composition, so let's start a new composition as if we've got some footage. So we'll call this footage and imagine I've got some sort of scene in here to actually put the text in 3D. We just take our 3D text and drag this into our composition. Now as it is, the 3D text is a 2D layer and we can't do anything with it really. And if we turned it into a 3D layer, excellent, it's 3D. Oh no, it's a two-dimensional uh, shape in 3D space. So we need to keep it 3D and click this little sun button here, which is like a cog gear sun thing. And it's called the collapse button. By doing that, we've now given our text um, the ability to be 3D unrolled. Whoops, a daisy, cat's lock. So we can use this single null right here, this single node, this single layer to control all of those layers. So there we go, 3D text in After Effects, super duper easy. If you want to make some more bevels, it's as simple as duplicate your bevel one. So now we've got bevel two. I'm gonna make this, ooh, white. I'm gonna go into here and first things first, I'm going to turn off the bevel and the material, and I'm going to apply an outer glow to my text. Excellent. Um, what do I do from here again? Okay, so you open up your outer glow, set from screen to normal, opacity to 100, change this to white. All I'm doing right now is creating a glow which um, is, is thick and has no sort of gradient to it. I'm also going to throw a fill onto here and uh, make my text black and you'll see why in a second. So there we go, we've literally just got this nice border around it. So now when I set my material uh, to a Luma mat, then there we go, we've just got the outline. The Luma map means it will take the white attributes and, uh, well, in, in a sense, the brighter the matte layer, the more of the uh, material you see. So there we go. Now, instead of creating a new material, I'm just going to throw on a tint on this one, make it gray, and then throw on some curves and pull the curves up a little bit. So we've got this white layer. Go back into our 3D text, and I'm going to take, let's say, I'm going to leave the front three, and yeah, so I'm going to duplicate the third one down, and then I'm going to highlight every single one up to the back one, and then take my bevel two, hold alt, and drag it on. And there we go, we've replaced them beveled layers with our new one, which when we pan around, you can see actually has a bevel to it. This looks relatively disgusting if you ask me, but it's a good way of showing you how you can make your own 3D text inside of After Effects. So now that we've made 3D text, we can actually change this uh, into whatever we want. So for this case, I'm going to change it into a logo. So if I go into my text comp, and I change whatever we have here. This will uh, be shown in our footage and everything else. So I'm going to go into my finder and I'm going to drag in the Arcus logo. So watch what happens when I drag the logo in and remove the text. 
So I'm just going to scale down our logo a little bit. And there we go. So when we go back into our footage, it's now a 3D logo instead of the text. And it still functions exactly the same, has the same attributes and bevels and materials as the last one did. If you are using this tutorial for a project or have any views that you'd like to express or even have tutorial suggestions of your own, leave them in a comment below for us. Like if you found this video helpful, dislike it if you didn't, and thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial.